Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna film this tutorial for you guys. It's just a really quick go-to makeup that you can do anytime that you find yourself in a rut and limited on time like I am today. I'm running late for leaving the house really to get to work. So um, it's just really neutral, easy, and I'm sorry to keep using the same products, but they're my go-to products. They're things that I'm using all the time and that I know We'll get the job done so i hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you have any requests bye okay guys so i'm going to be using this corrector and um, concealer duo by mac cosmetics i'm taking the peach shade and i'm just going to be using my fingers to warm up the product and really blend it out okay so i'm going to take a flat foundation brush by crown cosmetics i'm going to be taking my born this way foundation in the shade golden I'm using circular motions to spread the product, but I'm also patting it on my face to get coverage where I need it. Again, just continue to really blend that product out so it looks very soft and um, perfect. I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier setting powder and a large fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to take this product and I'm going to lightly dust it all over my face. It's going to help just give us a very light dusting of this so that it's not heavy and it's not sticking to any specific area. We just want to make sure that we mattify the skin and that everything just looks very semi-matte. We want to make sure that we're not overdoing it and that everything's very soft and blown out. So now we're going to go in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I like to just outline my eyebrow and I like to use very little product in the beginning. Once I'm satisfied with the outline and the shape, I just like to go in with more product and build up the intensity. For me, because my hair is dark, I prefer to go a little heavier and just really draw out that eyebrow. And again, you just continue with that until you're satisfied with your product. I like to take my brush at an angle to kind of create that squared shape. For me that's my natural shape so that's what I go. Once you're happy you'll just continue to really build that eyebrow. So again I'm going to be doing the same thing. I comb the brown the brow up and then just start outlining and then fill in the brow. So now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the Anti-Aging Formula. You guys know this is my favorite. And I just like to use it with my finger because it really makes it easy to apply the product and make sure that it's applied evenly and smoothly. To set my eye primer, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused. And I'm just using that with a 217 brush by MAC. And I'm just applying that all over my lid to make sure everything's set. Now I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliner and I get really close you guys. My vision is so bad so I really get close to the mirror and this is the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade Trooper. It's my favorite. It's so matte. It's really black and the, the tip is just amazing. So when I start I like to use it on its side so that I get a really nice even coverage and once I'm getting closer to the end, I like to use it on its tip because it's a little finer and easier um, to really map out where I'm going to do my wing. I know that I've mentioned this before, but I'm a tugger. Unfortunately, I tug at my eye and it just helps me really guide where I'm going to start my wing and how far I want um, to drag it out. My eyes are a little... Mm, I don't want to say wrinkly, but yeah, wrinkly is just not a good word. They're not as smooth, so I've always had to tug at my eye just to get a really smooth line. I know that there's some of you out there that have like beautifully tight eyes, and drawing out your line is super easy. Um, my sister's actually like that, but unfortunately, mine is not as smooth, so tugging really helps give me a really precise wing, and once you're happy, you move on. I'm going to be using my Tarte in the Blue palette and of course I'm using my favorite trusty brush which is the MAC 221 and I'm going to be taking the shade Leader. It's the deepest shade in this palette or the brown shade in the palette. And I'm just going to be taking this color and rocking it back and forth into my crease. And you really want to make sure that you're blending as you do this and that everything is really just smooth and blown out. So again, this brush does the work for you. It's going to give you just a really defined look. Continue to blend. You guys will see that 
I will be blending a lot in this video and it's just what I do. I, I blend as I go. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Rebel which is just like almost like a hot chocolate brown and I'm using this to blend out that leader shade and I'm just going back and forth and I'm using the same brush and this is just going to help blow out that deeper brown and just really soften it. In this part I literally said Gloria I heard something and I thought it was my sister-in-law and I kind of got creeped out. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Flower Child, which is just a really pretty neutral shade. And I'm going to be using that under my brow. And again, that also helps blend out the edges to make sure everything's soft. I'm going in again with um, Rebel. And I'm just building that shade because sometimes blending means that you lose some of the pigmentation. But it's okay. You just go back and, you know, reapply the shade. Again, we are blending. I love to blend. So now I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite, favorite eye coal by MAC. And this is Costa Riche. It's just a really beautiful red-based brown. And it's just amazing um, for blue eyes, even green eyes, actually. Actually, anyone can rock this shade. It's just amazing. So I'm just going in and getting that liner out. But we will be blending this. So now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going back in with Leader. I feel like Leader is the same shade as Costa Riche. Um, they're so identical. So I'm just going back and forth and rocking that. I know it looks a little crazy and messy, but I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. And I'm just kind of cleaning up. Um, also making sure that if there's any fallout, that we're cleaning that mess up. We really just want everything to be very blended and smooth. Now I'm taking my favorite, favorite, favorite product. This is um, Tarte's Lash Primer. I really love this. I go in with two coats. Of course, you guys don't see that on camera. We are blending again. Um, again, I'm just building that pigmentation and blending. I'm taking my MAC Giga Black Lash and applying that to my lower lash line. For my top lash line, I'm going to be using too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because our eye makeup is very simple. I'm going to only do two coats of this mascara. Normally, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I like to go in with like three or four coats just because I like a fuller, more dramatic lash. That's just my thing. Now I'm going to be going back with that corrector highlighter um, duo and I'm going to be using a Real Tex Techniques blending brush. And I'm just going to spread that product out and really get it into any lines under my eyes. And I'm also using that to kind of clean up the liner. So once I'm done getting that product across and I'm happy with how it's been applied, I'm going to go in with my finger because that is the best tool you have. It's warming up the product and it's really pushing it in to make sure that it's a nice even coat. Now I'm going in with my foundation brush again. And I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges to make sure everything is blended. Again, we are blending. I'm telling you guys, I blend a lot. And it's just one of those things you got to work as you go. Now I'm going to be taking Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. And I'm going to be using this to fill out my lip. Um, I'm lining and filling in. My bad. And I'm just, again, going in and filling it in press that. It just kind of helps spread the product I feel. So yeah. I'm going to be using Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. It's a, such a beautiful brown and it's a great nude too. So I'm just going to be using that. And I know. Becca Copper Bronze. I freaking love this. I wish it wasn't limited edition and I'm using my 137 MAC brush. Um, but I love it. It's just amazing. So I'm also going to go in with my foundation brush and just blend out the edges to make sure that everything is very soft. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.